In this lesson, I will show you the minimum cutting radius parameter from 2D contour fashioning. Pass a stop and we have minimum cutting radius parameter. During machining, often at the beginning of the process, we first use tools with a larger diameter to quickly and efficiently remove a large amount of material and then go to tools with smaller diameters to properly finish the workpiece. First, I will prepare the contour machining using the tool with radius larger than corner radius. Ok, I will use tool 30 mm diameter. Ok. Ok. And first, let's calculate tool path with minimum cutting radius parameter set to 0. Ok. Ok, when we machining pockets or internal contours, their inner radius is much smaller than the radius of the tool, which results uh, sharp corners in the tool path. This is not good for the tool or the CNC machine. Uh, in the sharp corners of the tool path, the tool is more loaded and wears faster, and there is also a rapid change in the cutting direction. The machine must stop in one direction to move the another direction. How to deal with this? We can manually modify the geometry and add larger radii in the corners than the tool radius, but this approach is time consuming and there may be some errors. Another way is to use the minimum cutting radius parameter. In this parameter we can specify what minimal radius should remain on the tool path. Let's set here 5 mm and this value must be less than the radius of the tool that we will be working on this geometry. After calculating we get this. We see clearly roundings in the tool path. Of course, we must remember that the more value we enter, the more material will remain in the corners. This parameter could speed up a little our machining and make this toolpath better for machine and better for tool.